Hi YouTubers, I thought I'd just share a few thoughts on the day state Mark IV MCT IS. MCT which is Map Compensated Technology IS which simply means information system. Uh, this rifle retails around about a thousand pounds. Excuse me, just a little bit over sometimes. And uh, the stock is secured to the action with a M12 bolt, although don't be kidded, it does look significant. When you actually remove the stock, the um, trigger section itself and stock therefore are only secured by an M6 Allen bolt to the cylinder. So that looks great, but in reality what's holding it on is that, a single bolt. Uh, the problem I want to discuss is I had a rattling which turned out to be the battery. Uh, earlier models had this battery glued in which made them an absolute pig to remove so they uh, started velcroing together but that led to a rattling and I thought on a thousand pound rifle that seemed a little cheap so I've put a couple of strips of felt onto the battery which stops it rattling. Um, the one thing you might want to consider with this rifle is that the electronics are very exposed and if you ever shoot in the rain then that rain is going to come down the sides of there and work its way into your electronics and cause you all kinds of trouble later down the line. But the issue today isn't that. It's this in the stock. Now this stock is a Minelli stock, I believe. That's what the M stands for. Beautifully finished. And then when Day State receive it, I would guess, because the, the stock is stained all the way around until you get to here. Now I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring that up a little bit for the camera. It looks to me as if Daystate have done a little bit of post-production work on that using a, a brad point drill, or a couple maybe, of 10 mil ones, and chaveled out a section to correspond to this pressure sensor here. And I think <clears throat> it's a big shame on such a stock, which really is a beautiful piece of wood, that Daystate think, I know what we'll do, we'll just bodge a uh, what looks like a beaver's chomped out hole here at the end, and pass it on to the customer and say no more. That's all I want to share with you. It's a bit of a shame, really. It's a fantastic gun to shoot. It shoulders really well. The stock makes it very comfortable. But I just think it's pretty appalling that someone, somewhere along the line, thought, we'll make that fit by chewing out a lump of wood here as best we can.